Shall I order us a cab? Only, uh, I've got us a table booked. I've suddenly lost my appetite. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it's like that, is it? <laughs> no, it's definitely not like that. I'm still recovering from yesterday. Yeah, we never did do things by halves. <laughs> exactly. That's why I need to talk to you. Oh, that sounds serious. Maybe we're taking things too fast, Rodney. Don't be silly. It's not as if we just met. I know, but... And at our age? Oh, we haven't got a lot of time to hang about. But what about Bernice? And Charity, come to think of it. What about them? They do live with me. Yeah, but it's your house and Bernice is my daughter. It'll... It'll be like old times. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, stop being a grump. Give me a kiss. I've told you I had enough of that yesterday. Oh, come here. I mean it, Rodney. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. <sighs> well, it's not broken, so that's good news. I said you were worrying about nothing. However, it is badly sprained. Which is your fault, remember? Would you like me to bandage it? No, leave it as it is. Well, it is going to bruise. Good. That means every time I look at it, I'll know to keep well away from him. <laughs> OK, I'll leave you to it. Don't kill him. It's not worth a life sentence. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> ah, I'd better phone the restaurant. Um, shall I <clears throat> make a reservation for next week? The way I'm feeling at the moment, I never want to go out with you again. I got here as fast as I could. Are you OK, Mum? It's just a sprain. I told you not to fauna. Diane, you had a fall, and at your age... Excuse me, I did not have a fall. I'm not in my 80s. I collided with one of your flaming boxes. Well, I'm glad Dad phoned me. At least it got me away from Clive. Oh, date not go too well. He blew his nose on his napkin and then picked his ear with it. <laughs> What's for this? <coughs> Over to you. Leave it, Rodney. Now's not the time. Not the time for what? To find out that me and your mother are getting back together again. And guess what? I'm moving in. <laughs> we haven't got any frozen peas, so you'll have to make do with cauliflower. Will you stop fussing? I think it's time we talked. Now, look, before you say anything, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, but you know what I'm like. I'd let Paul Pot move in with me, if I was drunk enough. It's fine, Mum. And then put myself in the eye afterwards. I think it's a good idea, Dad, moving in. Hey? Thank you, sweetheart. That'll help me out. Now, hang on a minute. Mum, let's be realistic about this. You're going to need him. I mean, I can't look after you day and night. I've got Gabby to think of. I don't need looking after, says the woman with her foot on a chair, and it might not heal for weeks. If not months. Exactly. And whose fault's that? <laughs> you had a fall. Will you stop saying that? I didn't have a fall. I was trying to get away from you, that's all. <laughs> Sorry, Mum, but it's becoming increasingly obvious that you're not as young as you think you are, i.e. 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the man who thinks he's Peter Pan. I've sprained my ankle, that's all. That might not heal. You know what they say about old bones? I'm going to have to give you a slap in a minute. <laughs> so, uh, when can I start moving in? Uh, not today, Rodney. Why not? Uh, because I need to make space for you. Well, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's no problem, Diane. I can live out of a suitcase for now. I said not for a few days, Rodney. Oh, discussion terminated. <laughs>